에이미 챌린지 캠퍼스 잔엄마의 ASMR입니다. Precious Moments Bedtime Stories Text by Samuel J. and John David Butcher Debbie Ann and Stephen Craig Biersma Illustrations by Samuel J. Butcher A special birthday. Laura had saved a very special present to open last. It was a birthday present from Grandma and Grandpa. They almost always got her a doll, but she had no idea what was in this tiny box. She sat down with her two favorite dolls and opened her last present. It was a beautiful music box. Laura lifted the top and laughed when she heard the little song. What is this? She asked her dolls. They just smiled back at her as she took a little card out of the box. Two $10 bills fell out. There was also a little note that said, Dear Laura, we wanted to buy you a doll, but we didn't know which one you would like. So this birthday, we want you to get a very special doll. One that you can keep for your own little girl. Love, Grandma and Grandpa. Laura was excited. She knew just which doll she wanted. There was one little girl doll at the toy store that she liked so very much. She looked at the money again and said, Mom, with this money, I can buy two dolls. One for me and one for my best friend, Becky. Maybe you should think about that a little more, Laura. Grandma and Grandpa want you to have a very special doll. Maybe you'll find one. But Mom, if I buy two of them, both Becky and I will have a special doll. She would like to have a new doll too. The only one she has is one her sister played with. Hi, Laura, called Becky. May I see your presents? Becky and Laura looked at the music box and the other nice gifts. Becky, I'm so excited. With my birthday money, I can buy two dolls, one for you and one for me. Just think of the fun we're going to have. Well, Laura, I think you should get just one doll, the prettiest one you can find. That's your birthday money, and you should use it for yourself, said Becky. We can take turns playing with her. I know you have a favorite doll picked out at the toy store. Come on, said Laura, let's go to the store now. The best friends skipped along, happy to be together. They looked in the window of the toy store and saw so many wonderful toys, stuffed animals, blocks, even a jack-in-the-box. In one corner of the window was a beautiful baby doll just waiting for a new mother. Isn't she pretty, gasped Laura. She must have just come in. She's adorable, agreed Becky. Let's go in and see if we can hold her. Laura picked up the doll and cuddled her. Mm-mm-mm, I'd like to take you home. I'll call you Baby Sue. Laura and Becky took turns carrying Baby Sue around as the two friends looked at all the other dolls in the store. Both agreed that none of the other dolls was as pretty as little baby Sue. It looks like baby Sue is the one for you, said Becky, who was just a little sad that Laura had enough money for only one baby Sue. Laura smiled at the doll. I'm going to put you back in your corner, baby Sue, but maybe I'll come back for you. Why didn't you buy baby Sue, Laura? asked Becky. I want to talk to my mom first, said Laura with a twinkle in her eye. Come on, I'll race you home. That night, Laura and her mother talked a long time about baby Sue and Becky. Mom, Becky is too proud to say she'd like a baby Sue of her own, but I saw the look in her eye as she held her. Becky has only one worn out doll. I just wouldn't be happy playing with baby Sue, even if I shared her with Becky, because I know Becky would love to have a doll of her own. I wish I could give Becky a baby Sue, but I want a baby Sue too. Hmm, 
said Mother. Maybe there is a way to solve this problem. I want to think about it tonight. Let's pray about it. Now you go to sleep. Sweet dreams. Laura could see that Mother had a special surprise sparkle in her eyes the next morning, but Mother wouldn't tell her the happy secret. Let's check the toy store today, said Laura when Becky came over to play that afternoon. Together, the friends skipped to the store. They looked for Baby Sue's corner in the window, and she wasn't there. Maybe they moved her, said Becky. We could look inside. Whoosh, they opened the door and ran to the doll section. <gasps> no baby Sue. Oh, she's gone. I wonder if someone bought her. What'll we do now? Cried Laura. Slowly, the two friends walked back to Laura's house. They had very sad faces. And once in a while, a tear came down a cheek. Becky snuck back a sob. Laura snuck back two sobs. They were very sad. Mother was waiting for the two friends. She was wearing her special surprise smile, and even her eyes were sparkling. Come in, girls. There's a surprise in the den, she said with that special smile. Nothing, nothing, not even a surprise could make us happy today, Mom, cried Laura. Oh, why? asked Mother. Baby Sue is gone. She's not at the toy store, Becky sobbed. Really, said Mother, who didn't sound at all surprised to hear that news. There were two packages in the corner of the den. They were exactly alike, except one said to Becky, the other one said to Laura. Okay, said Mother, unwrap them together. One, two, three, go! Rustle, rustle. Then no sound at all, not even a breathing sound. Laura lifted a baby doll out of her box. Becky lifted a baby doll out of her box. Baby Sue, said Laura. Oh, look at this, cried Becky. I have a baby Sue too. Both of the girls giggled with delight. I know, Becky. Let's call yours Baby Lou and call mine Baby Sue, Laura said with a big smile. Now it was Mother's turn to wipe a tear off her cheek, but it was a happy tear. <laughs>